Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll talk about the daily challenges, see what's going on, what we gotta do in order to make some apps. So let's start wasting time. Jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and navigate to the daily challenges. Uh, they should have reset it like three minutes ago. So challenges. There we go. Uh, collect water. Super easy. I can do that in my camp because I'm right next to the water place and uh, I'll show you how quickly this is. And I just noticed, where the hell are the 20 atom challenges again? It's only 10s now. What the hell? The the. Alright, so craft healing items. If you have the components to craft any of these things, I'll check if I have and if what, I will get additional 10 atoms. If not, woo. Uh, then, eat pre-war food, uh, super easy, by the way, this was 20 atoms, what the hell? Kill a Yagwai bear, no problemo, I'll show you where to kill a, a low level Yagwai bear, so in case if you're like midish levelish, like level 10, level 15, you should be able to pull it off. Alright, then, we've got level up wild, <clears throat> and if you complete any of the following sub challenges as I call them, so you need to do three at the same time as you level up, or level up, do one thing, level up, do another thing, level up, do another thing. So, uh, and that is, while engaged in PvP, while using cams, yielding a sword next to Graham Chally, that's the uh, traveling super mutant vendor, uh, level up at the Fisher site, uh, in White Springs, wearing a asylum uniform and hat, uh, while wearing sunglasses, uh, Morgantown Airport on a while under level 20 on uh, wow. broke my tongue man and uh, uh, level 76 or higher so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and that yep that's what I'm gonna do or using cams whichever I just mustn't forget to use the cam before I level up but anyway I do have the asylum uniform and if you want to get it, there's a whole bunch of uniforms <clears throat> at the Fort Defiance inside the building. You gotta go inside the building, just look around, you will find it, no problemo, I don't even have to show you. But it might be a little bit troublesome for the new players because there are high levels over there. Alright, plus it may trigger a uh, stand in line event, public event, which summons Scorch Beasts. <laughs> Alright, so. Bam bam bam. Wait, I didn't mention something, did I? Ah! Nuclear Winter. Take six photos. This is super easy. I'm actually going to do it. What you got to do is just, you can log into lobby. You don't even have to play. You log into the lobby where everybody else is there, hanging around until you get to drop into the map. Do six photos real quick, and if you don't want to play, just leave. <laughs> uh, okay, so, collect water. Let's start with that. As I said, you can collect water from your water purifiers, they count, but you can also collect dirty water and that also counts. So if you come up over here and just spam that X button or E button if you're in PC, I don't know, I'm not sure which is the uh, PS4 button. <laughs> so once that is done, you get your atoms. So the next cool thing that we're going to do is the Halloween candy. I already mentioned about the Halloween candy and I recommend you to get a whole bunch of Halloween candies because you can do these uh, really fast uh, challenges I mean because sometimes we get eat pre-war food it counts eat candies it counts so while having the candies with you all the time you're pretty much guaranteed to get those atoms so if you navigate to by the way uh, where to get those Halloween candies is at the Vatoga High School only once there is an event called uh, Jesus what is the name of that event versus monster mash monster mash something like that yes monster mash that's the one so you go inside you, uh, Halloween kind of event triggers a whole bunch of ghouls you can get legendaries one of my favorite events to still go to even though I already have so much candy which in my case don't even weigh anything as you can see it's zero in reality 0.01 0 .01. Uh, but for me is zero because I have the uh, perk card which I always have on me which uh, reduces food and drinks weights are reduced by 90 percent 
or you can get a mod from Settlers uh, for your backpack and that will do the same effect and get yourself a free slot at the agility section. Alright, so that is that and let's go check out our healing capabilities. So for that we need to use this thing right here. Settler Ally Kokoroch. What the hell? I'm gonna unsummon you. Always works. <laughs> healing. Oh wait. Also, before you start doing that, so you don't you get some extra components. I would also recommend getting that chemist card and super duper, obviously, which I have on right now because I've been crafting recently. So healing, blood pack. Poof. Da, da, da. Bam. Hey, 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 yay! I got him enough. Woohoo! What else do we have? Challenges. Uh, Yagwai. Yeah, Yagwai. Let's do kill the Yagwai. So the Yagwai Kokoroch you can kill uh, at the Philippi Battlefield Cementary. I do apologize if I sometimes mispronounce stuff. I am from Ukraine, so I sometimes mispronounce stuff. Now you're asking, what is this screenshot on my screen? Well. We got really bored on the last live stream for Fallout 76 and we did some crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, we kind of jumped off naked from monorail and we had seven jumpers to survive. Guess who survived? <laughs> okay, so. And some more crazy challenges. <laughs> anyway, so you run over here and uh, you'll see that teddy bear. I love Kong. Standing right here just waiting to get shot. Alright, you pick that up. Happy. Get your 10 atoms. Good. Now, the level up while I'm going to do on one of the live streams, maybe on the morning live stream or when I'm going to be live streaming again. Oh, by the way, that's a cool event. Uh, gives Can give 1, 2, 3 or even 4 legendaries. So, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and not do it. Man, I have a lot of legendaries. I'm just gonna go home and I gotta tell you where I'm gonna be telling you that this is the end for this video so I've covered pretty much all the dailies there's nothing new at the atomic shop unfortunately yeah I checked the patch notes and there's nothing new I already covered all this section but I did forget to take a look over here uh, nothing new oh well well Z-Clan and everybody else, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity once commenting, uh, otherwise YouTube will trigger and uh, your comments will not be visible to nobody, meaning that nobody will be able to read the comment of yours, nobody will be able to reply to your comments. If you're spamming links, please stop because I'm tired of banning people. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. Our clan has grown to 5,060 Z Clan members to celebrate. I actually created a new animated uh, stream overlay that I'm gonna run today on uh, Mixer's live stream. I really hope that I'll be able to stream and no urgent meeting gonna pop up. But essentially, uh, I'm like 90% sure that I'll be streaming, but not Fallout. I'm gonna be streaming. Uh, a racing game that we had fun so much playing yesterday. <laughs> if, uh, Forza Horizon 4. That's it. So, as I said, if you're new, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I have from Ukraine. If you want to join a real cool clan, real active clan, join our Discord. By the way, lots of uh, Discord changes coming too. I just still into the technical review of all the stuff that I want to implement. Just want to double make sure that I can implement all of that. But anyway. If you're to join, read the rules. If you break them, you get banned. Simple as that. If you read the rules and you're okay, then navigate to the get started section. Click the Z sign that you accept the chats, uh, the rules. You will get access to the general chats. Select the platform you're playing on, Xbox, PC, uh, whichever comes here, right? Uh, so it will be easier for you to team up and select the game that you play. So if you're playing Fallout 76, click Fallout 76, you get access to the chats of Fallout 76. You play Warzone, click Warzone, you get access to those chats as well, and so on. If you want to lose access, unclick, done. So, Z Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Y'all have a good morning night.
From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go.